Hello fellow programmers, look at this cool program I coded that definitely didn't take me hours to create due to one little mis- This is called a meat ball, meta ball, meta ball, sorry about that, I'm hungry right now. This cool simulation makes smooth merging animations between objects, like circles. This is used in water simulations, fire simulations, bacteria simulations, and oh my god it's 3am already, simulations. Now let's see how this works. Do not worry, I will attempt to enlighten you using a lack of syntactic permutation to obtain a higher level of understanding for mathematics. Or in zoomer terms, I will explain how the heck this hashtag lit program works using the simplest words possible. Now imagine a plane with a point. No, not a point, a point. Okay, now let me just get to the point of visualizing a point and not a point. Now pretend this point is very hot. No, don't pretend it's hot, pretend it's hot. If you make a heat map to see how the heat radiates off it, you will see it gets colder as you go further away from the point. You can also visualize this as a gravitational or electric field. Here is a simple program I made to empirically see all the values. This is essentially just getting the distance from the point using the Pythagorean theorem. Now that all the values of the heat map exist, draw a line around a certain temperature or value. It should look like a circle. Making this program that connects the lines took a lot longer than I would like to admit due to one little mistake. This is essentially how this works, but don't exit the video. If you want to code this, you must know several more concepts like ray marching squares, optimization using ray marching squares, and how to cook a burger. Okay, maybe not the last one. Here's what I did. First, I made it into a bigger grid. Then, I ate a five pound burger. Afterwards, I drew circles by forcing my PC against its will to draw the outline of the heat map and merge the temperature using averages. Then I ate another five pound burger. Afterwards, I optimized it and made everything HD. Then I ate a five pound burger. Afterwards, I realized I did this wrong and definitely didn't take hours to fix it due to one little mistake. Lesson. The further the object, the less effect it has on another object. It's just like a gravitational field. Oh yeah, and then I ate another five pound burger. Ray marching goes through every single pixel and detects whether the line passes through it. Pretend this 3x3 pixel canvas is every single pixel. This program goes through every pixel to see if the line passes through it and draws that pixel that goes through it. This is cool until your computer blows up because this would have to use heavy square rooting functions for my 500 by 500 pixel canvas. Optimization. To fix this, you can use a bigger grid and draw the lines. Now that we know the line goes through somewhere in this square, you can use ray marching again inside of that box to make a higher resolution grid. This is the reason why you can see the green boxes around the lines. Put this all together and you have a natural biological looking meat ball. Metal ball, sorry, sorry, I meant to say metal ball, I'm still hungry. Keep in mind there are so many other probably more efficient ways to do this. I, my name is Evan Brown. Thank you for watching.